Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets French, Valerian et la Cite des Mille Planetes is a 2017 English-language French 3D space opera film written and directed by Luc Besson, and co-produced by Besson and his wife, Virginie Besson-Silla. The film is based on the French science fiction comics series Valerian and Loreline, written by Pierre Christine and illustrated by Jean-Claude Méziers. It stars Dane DeHaan as Valerian and Cara DeLevingne as Loreline, with Clive Owen, Rihanna, Ethan Hawke, Herbie Hancock, Chris Wu and Rutger Hauer in supporting roles. Besson independently crowd-sourced and personally funded Valerian. With a production budget of around $180 million, it is both the most expensive European and independent film ever made. Valerian was released by STX Films on the 21st of July 2017 in the United States and in France on the 26th of July by EuropaCorp. It received mixed reviews from critics, who criticized the plot and some of the casting, but praised the visuals. It grossed $225 million worldwide, but due to its high production and advertising costs, it was considered a commercial failure following its release in the United States. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot. In the 28th century, due to cooperation between the Earth's countries beginning with the ASTP of 1975 and extraterrestrial peoples, the former International Space Station has been added to until its mass threatens to cause it to fall out of orbit. Relocated to deep space using a set of thrusters, it becomes Alpha, a space-traveling city inhabited by millions of species from thousands of planets. A special police division is created by the United Human Federation, a world government formed by a federation of Earth's countries to preserve peace through the galaxy, including happy-go-lucky Major Valerian and his partner, no-nonsense Sergeant Loreline. En route to a mission, Valerian dreams of a planet, Mull, where a low-tech humanoid race lives peacefully. They fish for pearls containing enormous amounts of energy, and use small animals to replicate them. Wreckage begins plummeting from the sky, followed by a huge spacecraft falling and causing an explosion that annihilates every living being in the planet. Some of the sentient inhabitants enter a wreckage and accidentally trap themselves inside, but the planet's young princess, Liho Minar, remains outside, and, just before her unavoidable death, she sends a telepathic message. Shaken, Valerian awakes. After an argument with Loreline regarding their relationship, analysis reveals he might have received a signal from across time and space. He learns that his mission is to retrieve a mul converter so called for being able to replicate anything it eats. It is the last of its kind, and currently in the hands of black market dealer Igan Sarus. Before setting out, Valerian asks Loreline to marry him, but she brushes him off, due to his many affairs with female colleagues and his aversion to commitment. On planet Kyrian, at a massive extra-dimensional bazaar called Big Market, Valerian disrupts a meeting in a zone restricted to humans between Igan and two hooded figures who look like the humanoids from his vision. They also seek the converter, which is revealed to be one of the small animals he saw in his vision. Valerian and Loreline recover the converter, and he surreptitiously steals one of the pearls. Aboard their ship, he learns that Mull was destroyed 30 years earlier, and all information about it is classified. They return to Alpha, where the superior, frosty commander Aaron Fillet informs them the center of the station has been infected by an unknown force, rendering it highly toxic. Troops sent into the area have not returned, and the infection is growing. Loreline and Valerian are assigned to protect the commander during an interstation summit to discuss the crisis. Against the commander's wishes, Loreline maintains possession of the converter. During the summit, the humanoids suddenly attack, incapacitating everyone before kidnapping Fillet. Valerian chases the kidnappers on foot, on his spacecraft, and then on his Lexus Skyjet aircraft to the infected area and crashes the plane. 
Evading arrest for insubordination, Loreline enlists the help of some aliens to track Valerian, and finds him unconscious at the edge of the infected zone. She wakes him, but is kidnapped by a primitive imperial tribe emigrated from planet Goara called Bulan Bathors, that lives nearby. Valerian infiltrates the tribe's territory with the help of a shape-shifting glamopod entertainer, Bubble, whom he meets in Red Light District Paradise Alley. They save Loreline and escape, despite Bubble being heavily wounded in the escape. Dying, she tells Valerian to never give up on his feelings for Loreline. Valerian and Loreline venture further into the infected area, realizing it is actually not toxic and contains some wrecks of antique spacecraft. They reach a large shielded hall where they find the humanoids, known as pearls, with an unconscious fillet. Their leader, Emperor Haban Limai, explains that his people lived peacefully on Mul until a battle broke out in orbit between the Federation's fleet and a faction known as Southern Territories. The human commander, Philip, ordered the use of three powerful fusion missiles that disabled the enemy ship but caused it to crash into the planet, annihilating Mul. Upon dying, Princess Liho Minar transferred her soul into Valerian's body. After the survivors trapped themselves inside the wreckage, they managed to repair it, and learned of the humans' technology and history. They eventually came to Alpha, helped by some merchants, where they assimilated more knowledge and built a ship of their own by stealing parts from the various peoples of the universe. They needed only the converter and the pearl to launch the ship so they could find a planet to use their technology and recreate their homeworld. Philip admits his role in the genocide, but argues that it was necessary to end the war, as was the cover-up to prevent the humans from being expelled from Alpha. Valerian and Loreline disagree, arguing that the commander has only been trying to save himself from the consequences for his actions, before Valerian knocks him out. Valerian hands over the pearl he stole, and Loreline persuades him to return the converter too, ignoring procedure. While the Pearl spacecraft prepares for takeoff, Philip's pre programmed robot K Tron soldiers attack the Pearls, the government soldiers who were sent to assist Valerian, and their support staff, but are ultimately defeated. The spacecraft departs and Philip is arrested. Valerian and Loreline are left adrift on board a still working Apollo Command Service module, which is identified by radio technicians as Destiny 2005 and Loreline finally answers Valerian's marriage proposal with a maybe as they wait for rescue topic <laughs> cast Dane DeHaan as Valerian a United Human Federation soldier and Loreline's partner love interest Kara DeLevingna as Loreline, a United Human Federation soldier and Valerian's partner, love interest Clive Owen as Aaron Fillett, Valerian and Loreline's commander Rihanna as the human form of Bubble, a shapeshifting glamopod entertainer Ethan Hawke as Jolly the Pimp, Bubble's protector Herbie Hancock as Defense Minister Chris Wu as Sergeant Neza Rutger Hauer as World State Federation President John Goodman as Igan Sarus Voice, a Kodakan pirate captain and the galaxy's most wanted criminal Elizabeth Debicki as Emperor Haban Limai Voice Sasha Lass as Princess Liho Minar Sam Spruath as General Octobar Ola Rapace as Major Gibson Alan Shabbat as Bob the Pirate Tom Findlay as the Pirate's voice Matthew Kasovitz as Camelot on Big Market Jonas Bloke as Katron Warrior, Control Room Soldier San Van Roy as Jessica Rabbit Creature Louis Letteria as Captain Welcoming Mercuries Olivier Megaton as Captain Welcoming KCO2 Gavin Dreyer as Sergeant Cooper Eric Lampart as Guide Thazit, a human guiding tourists in the big market Claire Tran as Control Room Sergeant Topic. Production
Topic: Development. Although Luke Besson loved the Valerian comics growing up, he did not seriously consider adapting them into a movie until he was working on The Fifth Element. During development, Besson had tapped Valerian illustrator Jean-Claude Méziers to work on the film, who asked Besson, "'Why are you doing this shitty film? Why you don't do Valerian?' At the time, Besson felt that making the film was "'impossible", given the vast alien-to-human ratio. The release of Avatar served as both a blessing and a curse for Besson, he has said, "'Technically, I could see that we can do everything now. The film proved that imagination is the only limit." However, he also felt that, "...James Cameron pushed all the levels so high," which made him believe that his script was not good enough, so he rewrote it. Ultimately, the storyboarding for the film took seven months. The project was first publicly reported in 2012. The two principal stars, Dane DeHaan and Cara DeLevingne, were announced in May 2015. On 19 August 2015, Clive Owen signed on to play Commander Aaron Fillett in the film. The budget, €197 million, Euros, is by far the largest ever assembled for a French film. Previously, Asterix at the Olympic Games was the most expensive, at €78 million, Euros, just ahead of Besson's The Fifth Element 75 million Euros. By the end of August 2015, Besson said in an RTL radio interview that shooting the film in France was too expensive. Because it was filmed in a foreign language English, Besson was unable to benefit from tax credits, despite preferring to produce the film in France and create jobs for 1,200 crew members. The criteria to obtain these tax credits were then adapted accordingly. In May 2015, it was announced Fundamental Films would invest $50 million in the film. Topic. Filming Principal photography on the film began on 5 January 2016 in seven sound stages dedicated to the film at the Cite du Cinéma, in Saint-Denis, north of Paris. In total, there are 2,734 visual effect shots. The humanoid race The Pearl were completely synthetic creations by Weta Digital, which generated the characters from performances by actors with motion capture equipment for their face and bodies. <laughs> Marketing The trailer featured the Beatles song, Because which marked the first time a Beatles master recording had been featured in a non-Beatles film advertisement. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Visual effects. Industrial Light and Magic, Weta Digital and Rodeo FX did the visuals for the movie. Scott Stokedyke was the main supervisor for the effects. Topic. Release The first teaser for Valerian was released on 10 November 2016. The teaser depicts Marmacas, an entertainer bubble, identified as Glamopod in the film, Bagulans, and Shingus, known as Dohan Dagui in the film, who all appear in Ambassador of the Shadows. A special exclusive preview of Valerian was shown prior to the Fathom Events 4K restoration showing of The Fifth Element on 14 May and 17 May Valerian was released in Israel on 20 July 2017, on 21 July in the United States, on 26 July in France, and on 2 August in the UK Lionsgate handles the film's release in the United Kingdom and Ireland, and STX Entertainment distributes the film film in the United States. The film was released on 25 August 2017 in China. Home media 
Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets was released digitally on November 7, 2017, and on Ultra HD Blu-ray, Blu-ray and DVD on November 21, 2017. <laughs> soundtrack The official soundtrack for Valerian was released on July 21, 2017 on vinyl, CD, and digital download. The total duration of this soundtrack album is exactly the same number of minutes as the duration of the film itself—137 minutes. <laughs> Track listing Reception Box office Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets grossed $40.5 million in the United States and Canada and $184.7 million internationally including $36.8 million in France, for a worldwide total of $225.2 million. With a production budget around $180 million, the film would have needed to gross $400 million worldwide in order to break even and justify a sequel. In North America, Valerian opened alongside Dunkirk and Girls Trip, and was initially projected to gross $20 minus $25 million from 3,553 theaters, although some insiders believed it would open in the teens. It made $6.5 million on its first day, including $1.7 million from Thursday night previews at 2,600 theaters, lowering weekend projections to $16.5 million. The film ended up debuting to $17 million, finishing fifth at the box office, leading Deadline Hollywood to already label the film a domestic box office bomb, and causing an 8.31% fall of the Europacorp stock on the following Monday. In its second weekend, the film dropped 62% to $6.4 million, finishing eighth at the box office. In its third and fourth weekends the film made $2.4 million and $901,323, finishing 12th and 17th and dropping another 62% both times. Outside North America, the film opened in 16 markets alongside the U.S. and made $6.5 million over its opening weekend, including $2.5 million in Germany. In France, the film made $3.72 million, 3.19 million euros on its first day, the second best opening day of 2017 there behind Despicable Me 3. In China, the film made $9.9 .9 million on its first day from 78,000 screens, becoming the first film to displace Wolf Warriors 2 at the country's box office. It went on to open to $29 million, topping the box office. The largest territory for the film was China, with $62.1 million. Critical response Valerian received mixed reviews from critics, who praised its visuals while criticizing the plot and some of the casting. On review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 48% based on 256 reviews, with an average rating of 5.5.10. The site's critical consensus reads, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets uses sheer kinetic energy and visual thrills to overcome narrative obstacles and offer a viewing experience whose surreal pleasures often outweigh its flaws. On Metacritic, which assigns a weighted average rating to reviews, the film has a score of 51 out of 100, based on reviews from 45 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. On French entertainment information website Alicine, the film has an average grade of 3.05, based on 31 critics. Audiences polled by Cinemascore gave the film an average grade of B. 
On an A-plus to F scale, David Ehrlich of IndieWire gave the film a grade of B, praising how unapologetically idiosyncratic the film is, while also saying, "...the vividness of this place only underscores the lifelessness of the people leading us through it." There are 394 million stories on the city of a thousand planets, and Valerians might be the only one we've seen before. Still, any excuse to visit this place is one worth taking." Peter Sharetta of, film touted the first half of Valerian as, "...unpredictable and bonkers insane," while calling the second half more formulaic and, "...far less exciting." though he still encouraged seeing the film in 3D, on the biggest screen possible. Ignacy Vishnevetsky of the AV Club wrote that it was, "...rare, to see a film this extravagant that also feels, for better or worse, like the work of a single personality." The longer action scenes may not always rank with Besson's early 90s highlights, or the mania of the more recent Lucy, but there isn't a moment in this ludicrous, lushly self-indulgent movie that doesn't feel like its creator is having the time of his life." Todd McCarthy of The Hollywood Reporter gave a negative review, saying, "...the Ratsies don't need to wait until the end of the year to anoint a winner for 2017." Hollywood studio chiefs can breathe easy that, this time, at least, they'll escape blame for making a giant summer franchise picture that nobody wants to see, since this one's a French import." A. O. Scott of The New York Times was also less than happy with the film, writing the effort, "...feels as if it were made up on the spot, by someone so delighted by the gaudy genre packaging at his disposal that he lost track of what was supposed to be inside." National Public Radio film critic, Mark Jenkins, additionally wrote in a negative review that the film's perspective often seems more 19th than 26th century, notably in a sequence where Loreline is captured by members of a hostile species and forced to don a white dress to be presented to their emperor. The blobby computer-generated creatures resemble natives from the most racist of Tarzan movies. Accolades Possible sequel Despite the film being a disappointment at the box office, director Luke Besson claims a sequel is still possible due to positive fan reaction. See also List of films featuring space stations <laughs>